We're part of the Geometric Information Processing Lab under the supervision of Professor Ron Kimmel. And in this lab, we develop algorithms which are associated with learning how to understand geometry. And one of the major outputs of this lab in recent years has been the development of a 3D scanner. The 3D scanner consists of two parts. One part is a color projector that projects colored patterns on a model. And the other part is a 2D color camera that takes images of those of a model with those projected patterns. Together, those images are then used to create a 3D model of a face or an object that we film. This is core technology that was developed in this lab and is now available in a very small package, just like a regular webcam. So the question is, we have 3D depth, what do we do with it? You know, why is it useful? Part of my main research is to use the 3D scanner to detect the fingertips. We really want to help users interact with the computer by giving the computer an understanding of what the user is doing with their hands. So for example, on the screen right now, we can see my hand and it's actually detecting fingertips. And on the right hand side, we've connected up a robotic hand. So when we open the hand, nothing happens. And then when we close the hand, the robotic hand detects that and closes. And this is a very basic example of the kind of application that we can have for an understanding of where your hand is in 3D space using these special sensors. We developed an algorithm for creating caricature out of three-dimensional shapes. We used the camera of the lab, the three-dimensional camera, in order to scan faces of subjects. After we scan the face, we match a template to it. Finally, we create a caricaturization clip based on the music being played. We can use those 3D models to do all kinds of fun stuff. For instance, we can print them using a commercial 3D printer that we also have here in the lab. We envision this technology going further to be used in the automobile industry and in the medical industry and in various industries where human interaction is key to the way a system operates. And the way that we see the future moving forward is towards these technologies and the lab is the right place to do it.